Good morning. Good old Friday Eve. It's here again. Oh, and I am reversing a cup. I am cream crackered. I will be I'm really, really tired. I'm really tired. Because it seems my whole life. I've just been sleeping, working, and rehearsing, and I'm a bit tired. And when I get back from rehearsals, I'm a bit buzzing and a bit like hyper, and I can't go sleep straight away. So, so I set my alarm for about seven or something, seven seventy, some random number. I don't like rounded numbers, um, and but I didn't get sleepy till gone two very tired. I know, I bring it on myself. I want to do these things. I get enjoyment from them. So, you know, you've got to make some sacrifices. And if that is sleep, then <laughs> so be it. It's only temporary. That's why I keep telling myself. It's only temporary. But um, it's opening night tonight. <sighs> so that's a bit exciting. It seems to have come around all of a sudden, but also it seems to have been like it's been my life for so long. So, Interesting, interesting. Um, I was talking about it last night actually. The, the creative process when it comes to acting in a play is, is quite an interesting one. You start off with your read through, um, normally before like, the play's even been cast, and you think how funny it is. If it's a comedy, and it's supposed to be funny obviously. Um, you, you think, oh yeah, this will be a good place to do it. This should be fun. This is really funny. It's got some really good lines in it. It's really good parts. It should be really fun to do. Really good. And how funny. Oh, that line. That line will never get old. A couple of months later, that line probably has got old. <laughs> Saying that, that is slightly unfair because there are so many bits in this play that proper crease me up. They really make me laugh. But I think it, a lot of that's to do with the fact that they're acted so well by, by my peers. Um, some of the things that some of the characters come out with and the delivery and everything just still makes me laugh every single time I hear it. The weird thing is though, when you first start rehearsing this wonderful funny play, the directors laugh at the funny bits and people that are really props and that they laugh at the funny bits and everyone laughs and it's all kind of this ha 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 we're making a play isn't it a funny play it's going to be great everyone laughs everyone finds it amusing it's all fun and it's like oh i'm loving this play it's going really well everything's going well and then you'll have one bad rehearsal well before the bad rehearsal there's normally a mass realization that actually we've been deluded we thought we were doing really well but now there's only like a couple of weeks to go and we still haven't got like we still know what's happening with the crown and the throne and the lines have all of a sudden gone to pot and all of a sudden it's going to be upon us and we're going to be disgraceful and no one's going to want us on stage again and it's horrible and you get this horrible thing and it's usually followed by some real harsh critique from the director and the prompt and all this and you just leave the thing the, going home thinking oh, I want to hit the bottle this is just so traumatic then you get a couple of good rehearsals and you're about hopefully like we got we had a, a really good dress rehearsal last night which always worries me I'd rather get the bad rehearsals out you know out of the way in the dress rehearsal but I had to take a prompt and I, I nearly forgot another of my lines and there was a bit of a pause so I think for me it was my worst rehearsal last night so I'm hoping that that's fine I'm, I'm not jinxed it's okay and everyone else isn't superstitious so they'll be fine right but last night half time I think we were having a half time tea and some biscuits that had been in the cupboard for too long and I'm not sure they were entirely right um, anyway, I was talking to um, to lovely Becky who's in the play, and 
I said it gets to that point where you just want it to be over and she said that she'd spoke to the director and said why do we do this and he'd said well one of the directors David um, and he'd said you'll know why you do it on Thursday night and that it's true it's true you get all excited when you start off and she said it's like having a baby right you get all excited when you first start you know oh hello baby it's all gonna be fine then you end up your health suffers <laughs> then you end up it, by the end you're just like I just want it over with now I, this isn't fun anymore I can't sleep I'm massive <laughs> I just want it gone. I just want the whole thing gone. <laughs> but then, when it's kind of born, it's hard work. But then it's it's lovely, except when it starts crying and stuff. But that that doesn't help the analogy. So we're not going to talk about that, and we're not going to talk about the 18 years of hell that follow. No, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about it, the creative process in this kind of context as blood, sweat and tears and creating something, creating a baby on stage in front of lots of people. Why do we do this? Why do we do this? Why? Anyway, tonight, I'm really super looking forward to having an audience because I've forgotten which bits are funny, other than the bits that are obviously really funny. So, and the audience often disagree with what's funny, <laughs> with what we find funny. Sometimes they laugh at the bits that you know, what is, oh, oh, is that supposed to be a joke? And that's great, that's great. So you have to learn when to kind of pause for comedic effect. And then every performance, every performance is still a rehearsal because you, you're just kind of picking stuff up from the audience for what works, what doesn't work, and you're kind of tweaking the character. Um, I was in a play a couple of years, I think it might have been the first one with, with um, the adding in drama group. And I thought my character was really nice. She was having an affair and stuff, but I thought of her as a very sympathetic character. And when we performed it on the first night, she got booed. Really booed. And I was like, oh my god, poor Henrietta, she didn't deserve that. But I figured that's what that's what they're gonna take from it, fair enough. So um I, I kind of stayed up to that then. I kind of became a bit more jaded in my plane of her and just thought, well, people don't like her, so she don't really care. <laughs> so the character changed and evolved and that's good. I hope my character doesn't get booed in this one though, because she's she's so misunderstood, is Lauren, bless her. I think we can all relate to that. <laughs> but yeah, but tonight she will be born. So it's a bit exciting, isn't it? Oh flipping son. I need to tell it to bugger off then but in a stronger language. I'm quite irritable today. <laughs> Why betide anyone that crosses me today? I've already kind of passively aggressively glared at the, the wheelie bin that's still there on Thursday that someone hasn't taken back. Yes, number four, I'm talking about you. What's your bin still doing out? It's mocking me, mocking me on my way to the car. I'm not actually normally that bothered about stuff like that. Oh, run, there we go. But yeah, it's <laughs> finally proper irksome, the fact that hadn't put the pin away. Oh, no, I'm just tired. I'm just really, really tired. And I've got a full day of work and then I've got to got to go home, get changed and then go down to the mem hall and do rehearsal. And, and last night, my guinea pig, my guinea pig's got a lump on him and last night I noticed it had grown and he didn't like me touching him and I thought, oh, so I messaged the vet last night to see if they could fit him in. The dog got back but this morning he was proper chipper again and didn't mind me touching it and he was really excited about breakfast. So hopefully I'll be able to wait until Saturday because I'm not I'm not going to be able to take him to the vets. It makes me feel really bad. It's timing's rubbish. But anyway I'm going to go. It's 8.54 and this is reminding me that I'm not playing Blitzball right now. I'm actually going to work. But I hope you all have a splendid day and I will see you when it's halfway through the play run on Monday for an update on how it's how, how it's working out and hopefully I've had more sleep and enjoy your extra hour this weekend. Woo woo! Spring forward, fall back and all that. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye!